All right, I got here a 2011 Sienna. Customer complaint, it's blowing the fuse. I don't know which one, it's a 10 amp fuse, I'm gonna have to look it up. And it's consistently blowing me off. I put the fuse in, it pops. So it's a bit short. We're gonna get to the fuse box, just wanna see. See, they replaced it, and it's, I can see it's blown. All right, now I gotta find the diagram of the fuse box. All right, so the fuse that's blowing is ECU ignition number one, a 10 amp. So we're gonna look up a diagram, see what that feeds, and I'm gonna also put a test light in it to see if it's actually a dead short right now. No, this is a 4 amp test light. So if it, it will light up brightly if it's a dead short. All right, so I'm gonna use this kit. I'm actually not gonna use the fuses for it now. I'm just gonna use this piece to put in place of the fuse and then I'll jump it with the test light. The problem with this kit I find is they don't blow as quickly as they should. And I've even seen smoke once, so I'm a little scared to use them. So I'm gonna put this in place of the fuse over here. And then we have this over here is leading to the fuse so we don't have to sit under the dash the whole time. All right, so with the car off, we don't have a short, a direct short at least. So we turn the key on. I don't know if it's the ignition piece. And we got a direct short, right? Because it's short the ground only with the key on. Which makes sense because it's ignition. So, now we're gonna get a diagram. All right, so now we got a diagram here. Pull one up. Power around distribution, power distribution. The ignition one, right here. Oh boy, it feeds a lot of stuff. It feeds the integration relay. Transmission system. What's the easiest place to start? That's the question. Mirrors, warning, navigation. Yeah, so fuse this guy. The narrow case you see right side of the dash. Should we just unplug that? So that can be the easiest way. Let's see what else it powers. The mirrors. Alright, I think the easiest thing to check first would be the mirrors. So it's going to this rear view mirror over here. Alright, we got our short right here. You know, I'm gonna unplug this. Hmm. I unplug the mirror and the short goes away. And we plug it back in. And now the mirror works. I gotta see this wire over here. Got all the windows rolled up at least. I don't know if I fixed the problem or not. This was definitely played around with. Our light is still off. Now I'm gonna scan it for codes and I got all the windows shut. I'm gonna put a 10 amp fuse in this. All right, it's been running fine on my fuse, so I'm gonna put my own fuse back, the real fuse back in. So I 
got it right kind of in. We're gonna put it in right here in place of this guy. All right, and that's in. Let's see if we got windows and everything. All right, the mirror turns on. At least it's not shorted. Windows open, closed. There's a bunch of codes here, still it looks like. It was a little tight. Well, I'm gonna get a scan tool. See what else is going on. Alright, we're gonna do a scan. We still have problems with the power steering. There's no, not really power steering. We have a code for lost communication brake system control module, and over here, the combination meter also lost communication brake system control module. ABS, do we have? Oh, we have no communication with the ABS module. That's our problem. Did not see that. My bad. So we got no communication with the ABS module. That's why we have problems with this. Now, is this no communication issue a power issue? I can check that or let me ask them if he wants me to diagnose it or not. Just a quick visual inspection, and I see it's unplugged. They must have unplugged it, and they're trying to diagnose the short, because it does say it goes to the ABS module. So we're just gonna plug it back in, or we can clear the codes, and see if we have power steering and everything. Well, our lights went off, and we have power steering again, so we didn't have to clear the codes. Excellent, thank you for watching.